And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. And this one's featuring the 1990 BMW 3 Series E30 by KI5. Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys, this vehicle includes one spare tire and is lure friendly. Extra bonus, dude. And onto the back of the vehicle, nice animation on the trunk there. The maximum storage capacity here is a whopping 70. And not only that, there is a roof rack you can strap onto this beast with a maximum capacity of 50. And under the hood, awesome animation on the door there. You do have to access it from the side. Here's your information inside of the vehicle. If you wish to pause your screen and look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. And moving inside of the vehicle, awesome animation on the door there. Here are your options as follows. We're going to go ahead and start with the horn. Sounds a little bit different to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And you know what comes next, boys. Ready, set, go. Boom, 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 boom. Brick and sweet, dude. And that there is a 90 BMW 3 Series E30. What do you guys think? I think it looks sick so far. And up next, we have the Cabrio version. Front view, back view, and side view for you guys. The last version was the M3, if you're wondering. And everything else is the same as the last vehicle. However, if you stand in the screen square right next to the trunk, you just hit the E key and boom. There it is, boys. This is the convertible version. The only thing we need to do next is this. Under the hood, you will have to actually go here and you will have to do the removable roof. You just go ahead and uninstall that baby just like that. And there we go. We got ourselves a convertible. Frickin' sweet, dude. And I'll do it one more time just in case you want to pause your screen and look at this stuff. Go ahead and do so. Boys, it's getting a little foggy in here. We're gonna have to wait until this passes. Looks like the fog is cleared and up next we have the four-door sedan version. Front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And under the hood, here's your information inside of the vehicle. If you wish to pause your screen and look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. Everything else is pretty much the same as the first vehicle. And that's not all, boys. We have the touring version. Front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And since the trunk is different, we're gonna go and pop the trunk just like that. Awesome animation there. The trunk storage capacity here is a whopping 90. Frickin' sweet, dude. And under the hood, here's your information inside of the vehicle. If you wish to pause your screen and look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. Everything else is pretty much the same as the first vehicle, except for the trunk. And just like other KFI's mods, this mod includes extra parts you can find in the world or craft to make a fully protected vehicle. Alright boys, you know what comes next. Let's put these two cheeks in the seat and see how she runs. Oh yeah, let's go boys. And under my test drive experience, I had an absolute blast with this thing, dude. The speed was great. I pushed it to the max and doing turns at that speed is still pretty good. The only thing I can recommend is either using the handbrake or easing off the gas to make a sharp turn. Everything else did great. The brakes were great. Handbrake, all of it. Loved it. And under the crash test, this thing is a base, dude. I didn't even put a bull bar on this thing. I smashed into the same freaking vehicle I do every time. A bunch of zombies an unexpected light pole and tree and this thing still came out to a 92.08 percent overall condition that's without the ball bar still freaking good dude so yeah if you strap on a bull bar into this beast i'm pretty sure you're gonna get next to mid condition after smashing so many things like i did i absolutely love this mod i definitely would use it in a playthrough what do you guys think let me know in the comments i definitely recommend it and that's it for this video if you like this video go and dragon smash that like button and subscribe become one of those dragons and i hope to catch you in the next freaking video Goodbye, for now.